Once more, just to beat a dead horse. Okay. If you can write out the process of going from a point and a slope, point x1, y1, slope m, and use the fundamental triangle to see that y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals m, where again, x, y, I'm emphasizing this, stands for an arbitrary point, not a point with given coordinates. Because x and y, of course, are going to come out down here as part of your equation. y is negative 3x minus 8. x and y are variables. Okay, well, uh, so x and y are variables. We set out the slope equal to the slope, and we get this. We do the algebra, and we get this form. Okay? And over here, we do essentially the same thing, but first we set up the fundamental triangle for our two given points and find its slope. As we could have done here and as we did in the example. And then we plug that slope in here and get that. Or we can plug the expression for that slope in for m and get this. And then we can plug our information into this form or we can plug it into this form and we get an equation. Uh, alternatively, we can just start from the very beginning as we did here in the two-point process, draw the fundamental triangle and get the slope. And then we draw another fundamental triangle for one of our points, either one, in the arbitrary and a line with the appropriate slope, and let x, y be a point on that line and write out what we get. Okay? So on a test, you can write it out in symbols and get the equation, or this equation. You can memorize this equation or this equation. Or you can just go directly to the picture and you can get the equation, if you can construct the picture. Any of those is fine. Uh, if you can do it in any of those ways, if asked, and I'm not going to specify the way I want you to do it, but if you can do it in any of those ways, um, then you have more flexibility and you understand it more deeply. But doing it in one way, whichever way is best for you, is just fine.